And new at five, it's a scheme to steal money from rideshare drivers for services like Uber or Lyft. A Metro Atlanta man says they stole more than $1,100 from him. Channel 2 consumer investigator Justin Gray is live in Midtown Atlanta, where it appears all this started. Well, Karen, that Uber driver came here to this apartment complex by Georgia Tech thinking he was picking up a customer. Then he got a message inside his Uber app, a phone call from someone claimed to be security saying they were investigating him, that this was actually a test ride, but it turned out to be a scam targeting his money. They found the perfect prey that day, even in my skeptical self, even, even when I try to be careful, you know. With more than 15,000 rides over seven years, Uber driver Jihad Allah thought he'd seen it all. But then a scammer made off with his entire week's earnings, more than $1,100. And yeah, in hindsight, I see here, look, Jihad, you blew through all the red flags. Allah says it came as an in-app call from Uber, someone claiming to be Uber security, claiming they'd been alerted that a person other than Allah was driving his car. They started asking me basic questions, phone number, you know, make it a car, thing like that, my whole name. Allah says he now realizes that in his rush to prove himself, he gave away too much information and access to what turned out to be a scammer who cleaned out his Uber wallet. I was kind of blinded trying to save $100, and I ended up losing $1,000, you know what I'm saying? Uber tells us imposter scams are rare on their platform, but do happen. Writing in a statement, quote, what this driver experienced is troubling and appears to be the result of a scam by a third-party bad actor. We are continuing to investigate and working to get in touch with the driver. We routinely remind riders and drivers to never share personal account information, such as passwords or verification codes, with anyone. And Uber will never ask for this information. And some good news here this afternoon. I did get a message from Jihad, very excited, just a few months ago. He said after we stepped in and talked with Uber, they restored his $1,100, his pay for the week, back to his account. He said he wanted to speak about his experience to help others. And again, Uber says they do have security uh, methods in place, uh, two-factor verification, and they want to make sure to warn people not to share their information with anybody. Reporting live in Midtown Atlanta, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News. We are